Now I want to go back. Back to choosing a spouse. So we have the proper teachings of Islam. And we need to understand that Islam does not dictate every step as to how you will get married. No. But rather it lays a framework. And with that framework, you are allowed within that framework to adjust things as per the changes in society and community on condition that they don't go beyond the framework. So there was a time when introductions were made by parents and family members, and I'd like to think that it still happens that way, right? So you have parents and family members who introduce the son or the daughter to someone whom they believe is perhaps a prospective spouse. And then the two of them meet. Number one, we need honesty. If you are having a relationship with a third party, please be honest. Please come out clear to your parents, to everyone else, to say, you know what? I am having a relationship with another person and I won't be able to consider this because the biggest punishment, and I'm saying this based on, based on what comes to me in terms of queries and those who seek help, the biggest sin is when you're marrying someone knowing that you are involved with someone else. Astaghfirullah. And people are doing it to please their parents. It is a disease. I'm sure a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. So my beloved parents, don't push your children to the degree that you've, you've issued a death sentence to someone else's daughter or to someone's son when your daughter or son was involved with a third party and you blocked it, squashed it, and sometimes the way you dealt with it, they didn't even have the courage or the guts to let you know that there was something else going on. How many of us have heard of those whom out on their honeymoon, they're busy texting or sexting someone else. And that's supposed to be a honeymoon. It's a reality. When we talk about marriage and relationships, in this day and age, we have to raise these issues. Because if we don't, who is going to raise them? So my beloved parents, you are a criminal if you've done that. Criminal. And I promise you, that would be so bad because you have messed up and ruined the life of an innocent child. Someone else. You've ruined their lives to the degree that you don't even realize they could have been happier with someone else and they would have been happier had they not even been married. So this is why we say the first step, just be honest. You come forth and you say, you know what? Unfortunately or fortunately, whatever it is, I'm not interested here. I'm involved somewhere else. I'm interested in a third party. My parents are forcing it on me. And now we have a bigger problem where the guy says, yeah, I know that they're forcing you, but I don't care. I don't mind. It's fine. What are you talking about? I've come across such cases, whether it's for immigration purposes, whatever other purpose it is. Wallahi, this is criminal behavior. This is absolutely unacceptable. It is against the, the basic rights of a child to choose the spouse. It's a basic right. You're never allowed to impose a decision of who to marry as a parent. That's not a right that Allah has given you. The child has a right to refuse and to reject and to say, no, I'm not interested. And so on. You have to open your ears. You have to listen attentively. What do they want? What are they seeking? So that's step number one.